Okay, so here we go, uh, starting out with section 2.7, and then we'll also hit uh, 2.8 in the section 2, because they kind of go together. Uh, so starting out with the character data type. All right, so this, um, you, you see this up here, so C-H-A-R, um, short for character. Some people will say char, uh, but it is uh, the character data type. Uh, used to, to uh, hold single characters, uh, typically. Uh, so I, the, I don't know, the, Probably the biggest use we'll see out of this, uh, at least the, at least early on, will be uh, storing values and, and asking questions like, do you wish to continue? Uh, y for yes, N for no. Okay, so I'm going to do a character check for a Y or an N or any other characters the way it works out. And uh, so anyway, you'll see you'll see things like that. Uh, you know, it doesn't take up much memory because it's one character, uh, and and you're good to go there. And then it's stored. If you if you I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, ASCII table, but uh, just to give you an example, so uh, if we use this and we have um, character and then letter equals notice single quotes that's the main difference between this and a string well there's lots of differences but you'll you'll instantly see that as a difference uh, and then semicolon here I see so our equivalent in decimal is uh, in our number in our decimal numbering system is a 67 on the ASCII table uh, so capital A starts at 65 B 66 and we end up with 67 here so just I don't know kind of a FYI thing so if you I, I think our book may even have an ASCII table in the appendix somewhere uh, but if not, you need a quick Google search for it and, and see kind of what they look like. But uh, but anyway, so so this is a, a character that we'll look for. Uh, and typically, I mean, here we've got a little piece like this. So if we're using this, um, always single quotes. So here's a little out. So, you know, it's saying, hey, go ahead, print this out in the line. Uh, we don't have uh, double quote. Marks, we don't need that at all, so just single quotes here, and you're good to go. All right, so let's look at uh, at strings, just as a comparison. Uh, and then we looked at this before, but just as a quick review. Uh, so storing a series of characters, uh, consecutive memory locations, that we're looking at a string. So we've played with these a little bit already, as far as output. Uh, and we're going to look at the um, at string objects a little closer, and the string class uh, specifically in a few minutes, in section 2.8. But um, we've got hello here. In quotes, so we're hopefully familiar with that. You've seen this kind of stuff enough. Uh, if you want to use a quote in a string, you have to use the escape uh, sequence, which is the backslash quote, so that it doesn't end the string from quote here to quote here. And then you've got another one here too, so backslash quote. So we looked at that before. Um, but let's look at uh, just a couple examples of whether this is a, a character or a string. So here we go. Uh, so is this, uh, let's see, a character, a little a single character, and close the single quotes. Here we go. So single quote here, single quote here. Here's our C. Now that's an easy one as a character. Our string, uh, strings that we're using in dual quotes. So we've looked at that before, right? If you see this, where you see double quotes around a single letter, I'm just trying to be a little tricky here. This is actually a string uh, because it is in double quotes. Okay, so it uh, it's not the same thing as a single character. All right, so we will use um, characters some. We won't use them a ton, but uh, enough to play with. And like I said, things like you know why to continue or no to quit those kind of those kind of uh, checks you'll see you'll see some programs with that and kind of gets us to play with them a little bit and then there's some other things later on down the road that we'll use it for but uh, for now it's sort of a common thing all right so let's take a look really quickly at 2.8 and uh this is the only slide i have for the, the 2.8 uh section so the string class all right so we've seen strings but we have to have a new hashtag include if we're going to use them uh, like we've been using variables like ints, right? So uh, if you see this in here, so here's our, uh, we're defining a string and we're saying, hey, we're gonna name this name. All right, so just like we use int right here. Uh, and then you can assign a value. So here we go, we're saying now name equals, you have to put it in quotes. This is a string, so it has to be in quotes, but notice the semicolons. So I'll have to have those. And then displaying them just like we've done with our int variable. So see how my name is in quotes with a space. And then here's name here as just a variable name like we've been using. Okay, so to see this work real quick, you can click on this and open this little bad boy up. And here is an example code uh, just straight from the uh, book. I don't think my favorite movie is Wheels of Fury, but that's okay. Let's make this a little bigger. Okay, so here we go, and you notice uh, this little piece right here. 
So hashtag include string. We still need IO stream because we have um, output here. So we have an output. Uh, so we have to include IO stream. I uh, definitely need that library too, but we're also going to include the uh, string. So here we go with uh, the way this works. So we're going to start out and uh, go ahead. Let me hit forward. And then here's our um, definition here. So we're saying, hey, this is how this is going to work. And um, oh, this may, by the way, this is a little something you'll see. Remember that when you're looking at this stuff, this is actually um, pythontutor.com. So Philip designer for Python. Uh, but he's got, I think, seven other languages in here now that are working. It is experimental. So we'll have some different things that may not work perfectly. Uh, and one of them, lo and behold, look at this, uh, looks like it is with the string class. So and string objects. So anyway, it may not look perfect, but that's okay. We don't care. It's still awesome and love it and it's great. So anyway, so rolling along here, I'm going to go ahead and go with my output right here and say my favorite movie is and here it prints it so it pulls the stored value from movie title and prints wheels of fury obviously the quotes aren't there okay so you may not see exactly in here but it does still go step by step it's just uh you know obviously it doesn't have the um the string class uh set up with the c plus plus version of the visualizer but uh, but that's okay that's okay we still we still like using it all right so we're good to go there uh and oops sorry didn't finish the program out but that's done so it returns zero and we're all good okay so just you have an example here to play with and uh the link is right here just in case you're curious and hopefully it's pretty straightforward and, and you got it down 